Hi friends, this is Shanmuk. So in the last video we discussed how to create a SQL login, right? So in this video I will show you how to create a Windows login, okay? So as you know, two types of logins, one is SQL login and Windows login. For SQL login there is no prerequisite, okay? For Windows login there is a prerequisite in case if anyone is coming to us or if anyone raised a request, please create a Windows login or please create a login. First of all, we have to make sure which login they are looking for. And once you got the confirmation whether it is a SQL login or Windows login from the customer or from the user, then what you have to do is, uh, if it is a Windows login, uh, you have to route that user to the Windows team. Okay, so that uh, first of all, we have to check whether that login is present in the uh, Active Directory or not. Okay, so usually we will create a Windows login like this, Logins list and a new login. And here make sure Windows authentication is selected and click on the search box okay and here what you have to do is it's very important uh, this is actually your computer name sometimes you can see the computer name but actually the location should be your active directory okay so active directory okay so for that you have to choose entire directory okay you have to choose entire directory and click OK uh, for example, if someone comes to you and uh, hey, can you please create a Windows login? Choose entire directory in the locations and type the username here. Which user is looking for permissions? You have to type the uh, username here. So, for example, Mark is looking for a uh, login. Mark is asking for uh, permissions. Then you have to type Mark and just check names. Okay, if you see like this means Mark is not a member of this Active Directory or domain. So what you have to do is you have to root mark. Hey mark, please reach out the Windows team and ask them to create a username for you in the Active Directory. For that they might ask you a ticket. Please raise a ticket and they will create a username. Once they created a username, please come back to us, SQL DB team, so that we'll create a, a Windows login for you. Like that we have to communicate with the mark. So mark will go to the Windows team. So he will raise a ticket and he will go to the Windows team and Windows team will create a uh, username for Mark. Then you have to type the same way. You have to type Mark here and check names. If Mark is already there, then you will get the Mark. So I have already typed Shanmuk. I mean like I have already created Shanmuk Windows user in the Active Directory. So now I am trying to create a Windows login for Shanmuk. Okay, Shanmuk. So just click on check names. See here, if the account is already created, you can see the name like this, okay, shanmuk at infosys.com. If mark account is created in the infosys domain, mark at infosys.com. So like that you can see the username, then you can click OK, okay. So you can see like this, infosys slash shanmuk, infosys slash mark, whatever it might be, okay. So that infosys is a domain, okay. So in this way, no need to enter any password and don't ask any password. You can simply click OK if you want to give permissions and all you can you can go in this pages uh, but simply I'm creating a Windows login so just click OK in this way we can create a Windows login and you can see the login name here okay so if you see domain name slash your username that is a Windows login okay if you see only an individual login name that is a SQL login this is how you have to identify the difference between a SQL login and Windows login by just looking the name okay Thank you for watching the video.